Now we have some more breaking news for you tonight. Fewer than 24 hours after calling on two suspects to turn themselves in, one man wanted in connection with Monday's mass shooting in Northwest DC is now under arrest. In all, 13 people were injured in that drive by shooting. It was on North Capitol Street in Northwest. Stephen Cheetah is outside MPD headquarters tonight where Chief Lanier just spoke. So Stephen, what do you have for us? Well, Allison, now we can confirm that 19 year old Craig Wilson did walk into a facility near the Department of Corrections earlier today and turn himself in. Tonight, he is charged with assault with intent to kill. Of course, you can still see Chief Kathleen Lanier behind me. She is talking with reporters, bringing them up to date on the latest on this investigation. Still, investigators are trying to determine what led to this shooting. Surveillance video caught it all go down about two Monday morning. A flurry of gunshots wounded 13 people and riddled the entire neighborhood with bullet holes and shattered glass. This can't be the death. Immediately after the shootings, investigators focused on the two vehicles seen traveling down North Capitol Street. Lingering questions, did bullets come from both vehicles? And what sparked a rash of random shooting like this? Then police called on 19 year olds Andrew Allen and Craig Wilson to turn themselves in for questioning. Earlier today, Wilson, who's charged with assault with intent to kill, was taken into custody. Allen is still at large. He deserves everything that he, that he got. Those here at the Tyler House Apartments, the scene of the shootings, expressed relief that at least one of the potential suspects is now in custody. That's a good thing. Why? Get some of that troubled youth off the, off the streets. The chief also just confirmed that both vehicles seen in that surveillance video have been located and impounded. Now, as far as Allen, she says that they are still looking for him. They still want to talk with him. He is the second 19 year old. They say that this is a very active investigation reporting live. Stephen Cheetah, ABC 7 News.